All right, here's another one I, I wanted to build just for proof of concept <clears throat> and uh, see how low of power I could drive this from. Now, this one is essentially pretty much the same deal as this other one over here. Whereas this one was fighting gravity and the coil was attracting the magnet at the right time. This one's basically fighting a repulsion. A very slight repulsion that's going on um, and it's pushing it's repelling the magnet at the right time so the way this is you've got you know one center coil a hall sensor right there lined up in the middle and these ring and these magnets forming a ring now, the way this is oriented is they it sticks to all these magnets all right once you move the bottom end of this pole right about where it's going to be repelled by these other magnets you have a, a bit of stability in this region um, as far as side to side movement but you've also got a very slight repulsion offsetting the attraction from this magnet to the core so you've got a very slight pull going on right here which all you really need to do is give a slight little push at the right time so that's essentially all this is. Same deal. I've just got the uh, coil opposite polarity. Uh, same code, different set point. Um, so if I cut this on, you can see basically how it works. You just plop it down. It's very simple. You literally just set it on down. And it's not, I haven't actually worked with this one to get it as stable as I had the other one. You can see that's pretty much what it is. You don't have a whole lot of uh, range on your hover there, but it does hover nonetheless. But what's cool about this is I can actually cut the voltage down, driving that coil all the way down to a volt. So that's that's running from one volt now, and it's still just barely hovering. So I don't know. I thought that was cool. So. So the significance of that to me is I could actually burn this whole deal from a AA battery so long as I use a USB boost circuit so in order to drive the ICs and all that but this would work totally fine from a volt such low power as you can see I've only just got one magnet or just one little uh, group of ring of magnets forming the ring here that's all I needed um, so while this is actually pretty simple to do in concept, I, I had never realized how easy it would be until I started messing with it. Um, you don't really need a whole lot of magnets to make this work. Now if I wanted to make this same concept work but actually hold up more weight, that's when I'm going to need more magnets. But then obviously you're going to be driving more power through your coil uh, most of the time. So something like this these really small tolerances that's that's probably about uh, what you need for super duper low power but I guess that makes sense um, just as it is it's you know it's not all that fun but um uh, Improvements could be made to that fairly easily. Pretty easily. But again, what I like about this also is there's another main difference is right now the coil is off. It's not firing. The only thing on right now is the Arduino. Coil doesn't actually cut on until you bring this close enough. So until I actually bring this thing down to where I can hear the oscillation going on it's not drawing any power so let's just say if I'm leaving this running and for whatever reason I, it just gets out of whack and goes bloop I don't need to worry about this coil overheating or anything like that which is liable to happen in this other circuit because it's drawing way more power um, when it's not levitating in this case it's no big deal it's just not pulling anything so that's 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 a handy thing about this arrangement